Everybody, it's Tyler here at Speedway with the champions, Juggernauts and Yoinkie Spoinkie. An absolutely phenomenal performance they here so far. I'm here with uh, Kyler and Josh from both the teams to talk a little bit more about their big event win. Kyler, i got to ask you to start out. First of all, how does it feel to win the signature event, qualify for the World Championship? It feels really great. This is our first signature event win. And qualifying for Worlds this early really helps us take a lot of stress off the next few signature events we're going to. I want to talk to you a little bit about alliance selection. Why was Yonke Spunky such a great pick uh, for you to have and take all the way through the finals? We were looking for someone that consistent with match loads and could overpower some of the blockers here. We watched one, a couple of their matches today, and they were just really consistent at scoring quick and blocking the tri balls from the other side at some point. It was, such, it was just such a good option, and some of the other ones just fell through, so we're good. I want to talk to you a little bit about that, Josh. Looking at the semifinals, what a huge matchup you had against the number one seed going to that to make it in the finals. How did you approach that match as an alliance to push on through into the finals? Um, we really talked with each other about some of the different strategies we could do. Um, we talked about whether we wanted to match load first or whether we wanted them to. And at the end of the day, we decided that we would decide on the fly. And it was really essentially essential that we were communicating with each other on the field. And how about uh, going into the, the finals matches? How did you approach as an alliance uh, how you're going to take on the opposing alliance? Was there any big changes you made going into the finals? Uh, yes, we actually waited. And as you can see in some of the matches, we let them match load first. And it was really good because we got the tri balls over to our side without having to waste time match loading. Finals number two, big match once again we just saw here on the field. Uh, when you approached that one, did you keep doing the same thing overall or any major changes you made from a strategy standpoint? So. We, we kept the same thing until our second finals match here in the best two out of three. Um, they were entangled the first round, and it, it caused them to cross to the middle line, which gave them automatic autonomous. So in the second round, they changed their auton so that they wouldn't interfere with the other robot, and that caused us to win blue auton. Well, phenomenal performance by the entire lines here. Congratulations for going to the Worlds. We can't wait to see you there. And congratulations here at the Speedway event. Thanks a lot. Thank you. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.